hey you guys welcome back to my channel my name is pj in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to do the rubber band braiding method on my very short hair we'll be using hair from nia wigs it's a company that sells human bulk braiding hair and crochet hair they sent me over three bundles of their bulk 16 inch hair and their 10 inch curly hair prepping this hair is very easy you just want to make sure that you brush it out and then when you go to take off the rubber band around the top, that part, the hair is clumped together. And it's mainly because the hair has been pushed together so tightly in the rubber band. So lightly brush out the top just so you can separate the hair strands. And then go ahead and pre-stretch the top of the hair. You do this method, just make sure you have a good grip on the hair because it will easily start to shed and fall apart because it's human hair and it's really, really soft. So you have to make sure you're gripping it as you're trying to pre-stretch the top. So this is what the hair should look like when you're done. Section your hair off into squares. It's up to you how big you want them to be. So after you insert your crochet needle under the rubber band and either a horizontal or vertical way, you're gonna wanna go ahead and twist the hair depending on how much hair you actually use. And that depends on how big you want them. You're gonna go ahead and just pull it through and pull one side of the hair through. So now just insert the next piece of hair in the opposite direction of the first. So with this part, take one section of the hair that's laying in the direction where you want your braid to lay and divide that into three separate pieces. Next, you want to grab the section of hair that's directly above it and pull it down. This is going to help cover the rubber band and give it that knotless look. Once you begin to braid, everything should look very seamless. Braiding with human hair can be a little different, but I do like the fact that it's really lightweight. It also blends really well and it doesn't itch. Human hair is also a great idea if you want to do long knotless braids. As you can see, everything looks so seamless. This method is so easy and you can get it done within a few hours. And it's time to add the curly pieces. Just put the end of the curly piece in between your thumb and index finger and just continue to braid. And adding hair to extend the braid, just do the exact same thing you did with the curly piece. Put the hair in between your thumb and index finger. When doing this method, it's better to have really long braiding hair so you don't have to do the feed in method and you can just braid the hair straight down.
So because this is human hair, you can't set the curls in hot water. Pretty much suck at doing two strand twists. So if you know how to do this part, you're going to be totally fine. But if you don't, what I used was just styling gel and some wrapping foam. I know you can use some like type of curling pudding. Honestly, even when I use that, I still can't get it right. But the curls at the end, it turned out pretty decent enough for me to show you guys. But if you actually know how to do two strand twists with natural hair, you're going to be able to do this end part. So you can either let these air dry or use a blow dryer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you check the description box for this human braiding hair. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.